call on me if you need somebody. Oh, somebody. Call my phone if you're feeling freaky. Oh, love on me if you're feeling me, baby. Oh, oh, baby. I go dance for you if you're feeling funky. Oh, chin chin. Chin chin. Chin -chin. On our holly bobs. Mm. <laughs> it don't feel like a holiday though, does no. it? Like it's constantly like we've been getting up early, filming content, going to bed late. Yeah. So Ooh. today is our last day here. Yeah. We should book a couple more days off, shouldn't we? We've got tonight and then we're flying back home, aren't we? Yeah. Anyways, guys, welcome back to the special episode of the Swingle Podcast. I'm Gage. I'm Olivia. And we are here at Temptation Grand Meaches. Ta-da! Yes, in the Dominican Republic. In the Dominican Republic, yeah. And we, um, this is gonna be a special episode because we're gonna show you what life is really like here. While just talking about our own experience. Yeah, so we've done, we did, there's two separate hotels, isn't there? There's Temptation Meaches and then Temptation Grand Meaches and they're both next to each other. And mm. we've actually managed to experience them both while we've been here. Yeah, so Temptation reached out and they want more of a UK audience coming over here to this brand new resort. And they put us in Temptation Meaches for two nights and then put us in this lovely house mansion like thing. Apartment. <laughs> yeah, like an apartment <laughs> thing for three nights. Um, but yeah, if, if you're looking to party, Temptation Meaches is the one for you. Yeah. But if you're in the lifestyle and you want to be around other people in the lifestyle as well and get that premium feel of things, Grand Meaches is definitely the one. Yeah, Grand Meaches is the <coughs> more lifestyle friendly, isn't it? Yeah. And, um, yeah, so are we going to talk about where we're going to start? Oh, gosh. Oh, right. gosh. So we flew out on Saturday to, um, we flew out from London to Putacana. Putacana? Putacana. Putacana. <laughs> oh, I've only had a sip of Prosecco. <laughs> um, and it's about an hour and a half's drive um, from the airport, isn't it, with traffic? Let so. me just kind of say these roads to get to Meachie's are terrible. <laughs> They, you get to a point and you kind of hit the countryside and they, it goes pitch black. And they have this thing where if you've got your headlights on facing another car, not full beams, normal headlights, they'll turn them off to not blind other drivers. So you're driving completely in the pitch black. But the guys know the roads really well and I'm not being funny, but my ass always clinching the seat sometimes. <laughs> So if you're going to get a transfer, go with like a premium company that know how to drive because we just got some guy pickers up there. <laughs> it was really good, but yeah, yeah um, the views coming into um, from Punta Cana to Meaches, they are really nice. We, yeah. He told us a few backstories of like the mangoes and the farms and so it was just nice to actually see the real Dominican Republic it as is. well while we were driving to the resort. Yeah, so then we, we kind of got here um, around about half seven, eight o'clock Dominican time. And one thing I can say about temptation and being here, and th I'm not going to be biased in th what we're talking about no. here because we've loved some things, but some other things we kind of go, mm -hmm. it's not for us. And we're going to talk about it. We got greeted and the level of customer service here is phenomenal. Mm. I mean, it's probably one of the best services that we've ever experienced. We got dropped off by, was it the Bell Boys? They were there, luggage, straight to reception, welcomed it. And there was like no faffing about. Yeah, wicked. So we've just literally landed. It's red hot. But it's like six o'clock. Yeah, we've got Charlie the driver. Top G, <laughs> big boss man driving this. So from the airport to get to the uh, Temptations, it's, it's an hour and a half to get there. Um, so we're not going to bore you like loads of footage and stuff. No, we just, no. We just said we're here, we're arrived. And we're, we're good heading, to go. And we're going to show you the hotel soon. Yeah. Exciting. Cool.
Me. And you. Yeah. Yeah. Petty tip. Thank okay. you. Petty tip, yeah. Who is the owner of this? All right, us. Me. Yeah. <laughs> you are getting all? Yeah, all of us, yeah. <clears throat> ah, but you are together, okay? Yeah. When you finish the chicken, then you come back with me with those tickets. Okay. Okay? Uh, but now go with the lady to begin the process of the chicken. Thank you. Cool. Gage, G-A-G-E, Olivia and Bailey. We're here for her loan. Are you here, guys? Yeah. We're here for two nights. He's here for five nights. Five and nights. then we're going to Grand Meaches for three nights afterwards. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Are you here for any birthday, anniversary. No, we're here to actually film content. We've come from the original group to film for social media okay. uh, to promote the hotel. Oh, nice. So I've got emails here. This is nice. This is uh, a lot more than what I was expecting. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was. When we pulled up, I was like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's a lot bigger. And then like, obviously, Grand Meaches is right next door to the Temptation. So. Hey, can we check in, please? Please get checked in. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you something, we've seen some people here, mate. Hey, hey, hey. 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 I can't judge you yet, though, because, like, she was, uh, the receptionist was like, oh, you can have, you know, the concept here. I was like, I know the concept. She was like, it's everything your parents tell you not to do. So I was like, all right. <laughs> We're staying up late. <laughs> We're staying up late. We're staying Drinking up late. Drinking fizzy pop and eating crisps. That's <laughs> Getting a sugar rush. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good little photo. We've stopped holding hands quite a lot. We just need to stop. I see you 24 7, that's fine. <laughs> Sick of seeing you. Here we go. Oh. Ah. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Epic fail. Oh, Bailey. Bro, you see that sign there? Topless optional pool. I know where I'm spending my day tomorrow. We're going, oh my god! Oh fucking hell! <laughs> look at this! Look at this sprint that I can do! Look at this! <laughs> yeah, that is crazy! <laughs> this is big! <laughs> yeah! Ooh. There's so many rooms! There's oh. another toilet there! Oh, gauge! Man, look at this! <laughs> look at this! I'm not being funny, you can get like five, six people in this. Look. <gasps> I made it through the <laughs> <laughs> You were Appreciate it, okay. mate. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. You were. <laughs> oh, did you get wet? <laughs> no, we haven't. No, we haven't. Yeah. I don't know how to open it. Yeah. Oh, no, no. no, no. Because no. what are you doing? Down in there. <laughs> no way, boy! Look at this! Oh my gosh! Wow! Oh. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> hey! Hey, oh, look at this! Very nice! This is sick! We could be like on here, <laughs> and then we could flip you up. <laughs> be like on here, <laughs> like there! <laughs> Like, welcome. They give you, they basically give you a little rundown of what Temptation is. And they was like, it's a party hotel. That's what it is. And we was like, all oh, right, cool. But I'm 31 now. I'm getting old. I'm getting a few gray hairs. A few? A few. Fuck you. <laughs> I could party for a day, but then I want to relax as well. Mm. And I think I'll start off with a bad side of Temptation Meaches, which is a party side, is the music is constantly blaring. 
Oh, it only gosh, you do sound like a dad now, don't you? <laughs> but I think it's the case of, yeah. so Bailey has been staying um, over at Temptation and the music's been blasting at like say two, three o'clock in the morning right, and people are still partying. What time did the music stop? Uh, the music stops at the bash at 2 a.m. At 2 a.m.? Yeah. yeah. Then everyone just comes down the corridors. And, and everyone comes down the corridors nailed and stuff. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, so, so you, it's like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning still. And but if you, say, spent four days of constantly drinking, partying, talking to people, there's going to be a day or two where you go, do you know what, I just need my own time. And you don't want to be listening to party music when you try to relax. Yeah, because I went, tried to go for a nap and all I could hear was... Um, the bum bum, <laughs> like they're just the underground of them, um, the tones and things. But yeah. to be fair, I think I um, would have been better on the beach, heading to the beach for your naps. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So we, um, yes, yeah, so we spent two nights and they give us this amazing room. Um, you know, you walked in, it's got a bar, a lounge area. It's got a super king size bed. You could easily fit six to eight people on there couldn't yeah, you? Yeah I really Very want a super king size bed I know now you do, you freak. <laughs> like, <That's it. laughs> but the only bad thing about a super king size bed is like when you're actually in bed I feel like there's too much distance between us and I'm like oh, oh. come back. I'll have to get an Uber to come see you. Give you a kiss <laughs> but yeah the room was really nice and every bathroom no matter even if it's an entry level room to the um, VIP rooms mm. basically are uh, more or less the same. Hi, I'm Vista Hubby. Welcome to my crib. I'm Vista Wife. Excuse the hair. Okay, it's just wet me in the shower. <laughs> so we, we've literally just got to Temptations now. There was like, you're in building four, took us down this long corridor and it just kind of went dead because it's like full of pinks and purples as you go down and we got to this like creepy part. The doors on your right, so it was like, cool. We walk in and this is what we've got. Ooh. We come through the door, got a little bathroom here. Um, just wet myself. <laughs> Little lounge area, free apples. Sick. Hey, nice little touch as well. Look at this. A nice bath. Look at this. Do you reckon the mind does take this home? <laughs> Should have brought a swing up one. Replaced it. That'd have been quite cool. So we've got a nice little bar here with some bar stools. You can make yourself a cocktail. Well, we've got Prosecco in the fridge. I feel like I do not want to be on camera right now with my wet hair. I'm not gonna lie. You're fine. I'm not fine. Yeah, just what we've got in here. Welcome to the bedroom. <laughs> so you walk in, you've got um, a cook sofa there. You've got nice big TV. I'm gonna say that's a, probably about 40 inch, but my measurement skills are off. Don't really handle this. King size bed. <laughs> big king size bed. To be fair, I've just dived on it and now already got makeup on it. You've already got makeup on it. Nice. But look at this. This is like little things like this, mate. Look, you just kind of close that. You open it up, you've got like charging sockets here, all your lights, for everything you need. And then follow this, look at this. Got a full walking size wardrobe. Oh, and you've got some little hair straighteners in the bathroom. Oh, this is amazing, yeah. So this is the bathroom from the um, the ensuite, and and this is where I stood under here and get you decided to um no <laughs> no to wet me to wet me. But look at these sinks, like these sinks are absolutely um. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's very well done, I think. Oh, look at the aircon units up there, they're massive. They are aircon units up. Mm. Yeah, I think it's Temptation is good for like that four day getaway. And what a lot of people do here is they'll do say two nights at Temptation and then come spend the rest of their holiday over at Grand Meaches. Mm. Um, but the positives of Temptation, I was very surprised. You walk in and this place is huge. Yeah, it's really big. I thought I was it'd be really like a really, surprised. I thought it'd be like a small, smallish like complex. Yeah, but the scale of it. Because um, the Temptation Meaches is basically like the um, same concept as the one in Cancun, the Temptation in Cancun. But because they've got all this land, they've managed to do 
like it on a bigger scale, which yeah. is really good. Like you've yeah. got your different options of room type. Um, it is absolutely massive. Like there's six blocks of rooms, isn't there? All like yeah. around the massive pool. Which is really fun. So speaking of the pool as well, um, the pool can get quite lively. You know, you, there's, it's optional topless and there's women walking around with their, with their boobies out. Uh, the music's playing. So if you're in that mood, it's really, really fun. You know, like there's loads of activities like, like the party players, um, the party players are people that kind of get the party going and like do all the activities. Um, it's all inclusive. So, you know, the company said you want a drink and it feels like you've just been really well looked after. The pool, when they first built it, so this is, um, so we got told this and we was quite surprised. When they built the pool at the bottom, they put in the tiles, it was a mermaid and this mermaid had her titties out but when you flew over temptations you could see a mermaid with the titties and the government or whoever the local mayor is was like no that is not it so they've painted it black yeah. so the, <laughs> it's so the, really weird it's isn't weird. it to so see a black pool, pool so the pool looks a little strange and the choice of pool designs is it's not our cup of tea because you also have a quiet pool and the tiles are yellow and green. So from a distance, it actually looks dirty. Yeah. It looks like a pond. <laughs> but I think it's supposed to go with the, maybe look like a blue lagoon. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, it looks yeah. like like a dirty pond. The water <laughs> is clean. The water is clean, but you look at it and it doesn't look too appetizing. So we've tried to take a few pictures of that and then we were like, no, scrap that. Yeah, we did a, we did a, like, a TikTok video, didn't we? And we was like, this does not look appealing. And we have a guy uh, called Gene that's been basically hosting us here. If we need anything, he's been booking our um, restaurants, you know, giving us like first class access to all these different areas. And I showed him and he was like, do not post that. <laughs> do not post that. And I was like, we're not going to bother. But the water is clean apart from that. Yeah. So all in all, I, I did have a good time. But like you says, um, I'm one or two nights partying. If I've got a hangover, I don't want to be sat by the pool with the music blaring um but yeah what about because there is how many restaurants is over oh at, um, there's loads of restaurants the food over at temptations is okay mm. um don't forget it's all inclusive so you're not paying the premium prices for good quality food you're getting you're getting food yeah so they've got um a buff they've got a buffet a steak restaurant a steak restaurant uh like a japanese restaurant and we should have we should have caught them all i think there's six over there yeah the place is freaking huge let's just say that um so we spent two nights and as big as the complex is you know it's just there the amenities it's got a, it's got a spa it's got a full gym it's got a games room come on we need to go yeah. to the spa we'll go to the spa but me and you're rubbing this out later on all right this is the spa menu and this is the spa over here Mm. We have massages, fantasies, body treatments. Fantasies? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a massage. It's like touching over the body with some drugs. Like scratching yeah. up and down your yes. back. Bro, I beg her every night to scratch my back before I go to sleep. So, uh, <laughs> you are done now. I am coming here and then I can sleep peacefully. That's it. Couples massage, body treatments, yes. facials. Yeah, they've, awesome got, facials. they've got a lot of... Um, a lot of things, haven't they? And that's the beauty salon. We have braids, nails. Oh. You can give her hair braided. <laughs> no. <laughs> For you? For me? It's not long enough yet, is it? <laughs> I want to come back next year with, uh, with longer hair. Give it a try. Cool. Can we have a look around? And uh, is that okay? Yeah. Ooh. It smells good in here. It smells really nice. <laughs> it's locked. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cute. Ooh. 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 It's a nice little treatment. Liv, come sit down. <laughs> come sit down, Liv. You're going to do my nails, are you? So, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking we could go with a red. A red? If you want. All right. And that, these are horrible nails. I'm horrible. Gonna, I'm going to fix these. <laughs> I'm going to fix these. This is a magic stone we use for your nails, all right? <laughs> Yeah, it looks cute in here. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, you haven't put it back properly. You want there? Put it there. <laughs> Don't put mess with there. it. No, put that down. 
<laughs> What's down here? Here's massage room. Oh, here. massage room. Massage the room. You ever seen Crystal Maze? I feel like I'm in Crystal Maze. There's like rooms everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the massage room. Yeah, I got lost then. Yeah. It's like a little maze in there. I've just, what have I just said? What have I just said? <laughs> I'd definitely get lost in here. Promo for the swing hub. <laughs> Chic. It's very calming in here, isn't it? Ooh. 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 Hey. Hi. Wow. This one's great. This looks really good. Fifty Shades of Grey. Vibe in here. <laughs> like if, if it would just me and you in here. If it would just me and you in here, Olivia, that's it. It's a pleasure to have you here in our Rosé Spa. Thank you. How do you feel today? Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. just have my nails done. So <laughs> that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show you something quickly. Come on, This is a massage room. There's no happy endings, but wait there. I want to come out with something. Step back. Everything, so if you just want to be like cuffed up and wait, you book it in. Crazy. Oh my god, it's like you're covering up a dead body. <laughs> Rest in peace, babes. It's been good knowing you. Oh shit. Why not? Hey, if you see any sketchy shit going down, you make sure you say it's not alright. Yeah, she's really getting in there. If you need anything, you ask somebody and it's just there for you. Mm. And you know, if you're in your mid twenties and you want to party, <laughs> that's a place to go um, if you want We've got that. a 24 hour bar. We've got a 24 hour bar. Well, I said 23 and a half hours. Yeah. We close it for half an hour to They've clean it. They've got a knockoff <laughs> Starbucks here. They've got an ice cream place. They've, we just uh, had ice cream, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, the coffee's good here. The yeah. food's okay, all that good stuff, but the day came where we had to move over to Grand Meaches. Now, if you look at Grand Meaches online, let me just say this, fucking wow. Yeah, the pictures do wow. not do this place justice at all, do they? This is truly phenomenal. Obviously, because Temptation have reached out to us, they've put us in the nicest of nicest accommodation. I seriously wasn't expecting to be put in here <laughs> at all. When they said, this is the room that you've got, and we were like, why? <laughs> yeah, you can see in the background, you know, you come through the door here, we've got two floors. This room is massive, and we've got a balcony, a glass balcony, and the bed's right above us, um, with this massive bathroom and like double shower. But then things, we've got um, a swim up, swim up pool got, as well. Behind us, we've got, a pool. we've got a jacuzzi on the balcony and a swim up pool. So it's really crazy. And I think what I personally think, what they've done is they've gone, these guys obviously are quite big on social media. Let's give them the best of the best. And that's what's really going to promote temptation. Yeah. But we understand. And when we found out the price per night of this, this room, yeah, this room here, this runs two grand a night. $2,000. $2,000 a night. And for me, that's just... Because I think... Unless you've got the money to do it, then yeah. But, you know, like, cost of living crisis at the moment. No one's going to run for five days and spend two grand just to be here for a week. Yeah, I think because our flights are so long from the UK, maybe if you are from the US, Canada, which it's very heavily, like, I think we've been the only English people here, I'm not going to lie. Um, but they can hop on a flight and they're like two, three, four hours away. So spending three nights here for a four hour flight is fine for them to do just like a long weekend here. Yeah. Whereas us from the US, the US, us from the UK want to come over for a week. Yeah. And when you're paying $2,000 a night for a room, as lovely as it is, but like we've said, we don't need the space. Like. No, we, we had a look around. So they was basically giving us all this and we said we want to see your entry level rooms and it was like 
Why? And I was like, because people from the UK are going to come over. Don't forget, the flight's very expensive as it is. Then if you're here for a week, that's... Now add up. That's 10 grand if you wanted one of these. Entry level rooms are affordable. They work out, what is it, $400 a night? Yeah. But for your $400 a night, it is all inclusive. And let me say this, we checked out the entry level rooms at uh, Grand Meaches, and they are gorgeous. They're really nice. Show them around. <laughs> you want me to show them around? Oh, I'm gonna five minutes <laughs> so yeah, you've got your bed, um, you've got your own little jacuzzi hot tub in the room. Very sexy. Oh, there's a TV in the back. There is a TV. <laughs> I hope it's waterproof. Splashes. <laughs> a little um, corner sofa. Well, not little, it's actually really big. And they are so comfy as well. Um, and then go through to the bathroom. Oh, I missed the walk-in wardrobe. There's um, the walk-in wardrobe there. Plenty of room for all your stuff. And the fully stocked fridge. And come into the bathroom you've got your own little dressing area and your double sinks and the shower it's very nice very nice, nice. And yeah we'd have been very happy to stay there yeah also all your alcohol is all top shelf um, it's not your cheap stuff as well so you are for the money I think the price point the food's really good over here you can also use all the amenities all over at um, the other hotel the Temptation Meaches if you stop at the Grand yes. um, so you could have the best of both worlds you can go over there have a party like let loose over there and then come back over here which a lot of people were doing wasn't there we were watching a show the other night and then everybody went over to see the other show at Temptation, had a few drinks over there, and then all of a sudden a big group of them came back, came back and used the, um, yeah. the jacuzzi so that, spas like, upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> so there's probably people screaming now going, can you play there? Is it really lifestyle friendly? And yes, it is. This is the deal with Temptation and our lifestyle. They don't want to basically say it's for swingers. They don't want you to say that. They will say things like it's it's sex positive. These areas, what were you going to say? Yeah, I was like, obviously there's areas where you can be topless and then there's two areas where you can be fully nude, isn't there? Yes, um, absolutely. But when we got around, when we were having the tour, Jean was like, oh, let me show you the playroom. And I was like, the playroom as in... And he was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, you sneaky fuckers. That's something you don't advertise, advertise. because it's not what they want to promote, it promote as. as because it's just a, a resort which is sexually positive. Just lifestyle friendly. At Grand Meaches, there is a, a show on at mm. half nine every night. We came down for the show and the fucking place was dead. Like there was no one about. So we said to the bartender, uh, what's going on? And he went, oh, there's like an erotic show going on upstairs. There's a playroom around the corner, right? And um, we came up and they, there was a show in the club there. Yeah. And in that club, there's like a little secret door on the back and there's a playroom. <laughs> It was. Um, it were dead. It, it was we were, dead, wasn't we it? Like, I thought it was like I thought this was like a lifestyle resort. Yeah. So the club, like, we'd watch the show, like the erotic show, and then we. Oh. What? <laughs> you had your white pants on, and I kind of. Um, I didn't I shit myself. Honestly, I, I didn't shit myself. I did not shit myself. It looked like it because what did you do? I um, spilt my um, espresso martini. It's because it's in the martini glasses. Oh, you mean? <laughs> I went, to, I went to go clap and I just knocked the bottom and it was quite full. She so. had a glass in hand and went. <laughs> <laughs> I was like that, trying to like hold the glass and clap. 
Um, but it, it went on your white jeans. Yeah. So we're right like... on the arse cheek as well. <laughs> and they was like, I'll just wash it out. I was like, no, this is stained now. I don't want people thinking I've shit myself. <laughs> All right, I'm not doing that story again. Yeah, so we then decided after, we watched, finished watching the show and then we um, we went back to the room and you got your pants changed and I tried to wash it out and so you could put them back on yeah. and it wasn't so happening. We, we headed to the bar anyway, it was like, let's go to the bar, we'll see what the vibe is. We got speaking to um, some couples. We were saying we were, we were saying we went to the playroom, we dead. There was like, the party's not there. We was like, where's the party at? He went, it's the jacuzzi pool, this. He's like, people get in the nude and then this is where everybody meets. I was like, oh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, because I think the club is really loud, isn't it? To like yeah, you talk can't have to a people. Um, so when we went back, we went back up, didn't we? And it was completely dead. And we were like, um, has everybody gone to bed? Yeah, yeah. So we came in here and we basically, there's a small uh, bar there. We had a few cocktails, spoke to a couple of people, didn't we? But the night just runs away and it was like two o'clock in the morning. And we'd been up. Since We'd been like getting up early to early. like film content around here for uh, Grand Meaches. And everybody knows I need a good 10. 10 hours. <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, we just called it a night, didn't we? Yeah, it was We're fun. back again tonight though. We're gonna Might have, a nap. have a look. Nap this, nap this afternoon. I'll sleep when I'm dead. I'm good. <laughs> We're only here for like two more nights, so may as well just yeah. leave it while we can. Enjoy it while we can. Should we show them the playroom quickly? I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up, but this is like the, the, um, the club and you've got this sick floor and it's like a mirror floor you know with like leds and it looks like it's just like going to affinity yeah and this where what the show was last night wasn't it yeah. so we were sat over there and then they kind of did the show here didn't they so yeah absolutely yeah really good show i think like the dancers and the entertainment they are like solid because they do a show here <laughs> they do a show here and then they go over to Temptation on the other side, Meaches, and do another show. And then they do a show every night and it's all different. So they must know a good seven hours worth of choreography. Choreography. It's normally really dark in here, but the lights are on. When we go to clubs, this is the sort of thing that we look for. Lots of clubs just make a, a makeshift bed and throw a mattress on there, but and you've got like stuff like this. This is, um, it's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's done really well. Yeah, I, but it, would, it was just dead last night, and it, it's, it's, it's a shame, a shame isn't it goes it? to waste. Yeah, because yeah, it is really nice, <coughs> really nicely done in here. Yeah, but you have two TVs over there as well um, that play over 18 movies, let's say. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's really, really nicely done. It's just a shame that it's kind of, it's not busy on a night, but I think it's just different cultures because it's very American heavy here right now, where we knew if we brought friends over here, people would be like, this is where yeah. we're partying tonight. The host actually can come in from that area and they just fully stock the towels and they can't really see what's happening. So it is really private. Yeah, you get your privacy, it? don't you? You do get your privacy. And yeah. um, I think there's only one host like every night. There's not like a, um, a lot of people coming in and out like who work here, so. Yeah, right, should we um, go promote this freaking hotel? Do some more <laughs> stuff. Do some more stuff. Yeah. Some more stuff. Some more stuff. We went to the playroom and I am super impressed Ooh. with their yeah. um, quality. Like, it's not just mattresses on beds, is it? It's it? You know when you go to some clubs and they've just got the mattresses and the sheets because it's just convenient to just change the sheets? Well, over here, it's premium stitched leather, really nice furniture. Um, yeah, it, it's done really, really well. The yeah. only downside is it's fucking boiling in there as well. <laughs> That's it. Like it's really. There's no hot. air con in there. I don't think there's any air con in there. It's just Maybe. kind of a room. But yeah, you can get a bit of a sweat on. So they're like, I bet everybody's like, oh, so what's happened then if you've got a sweat on? I don't, I don't kiss and tell. <laughs> I don't kiss and tell. <laughs> if you want to tell, you can tell. <laughs> So the age group is a lot older than us, but I suppose that's why we're out here to promote it. It is an amazing hotel and it is an amazing resort. I think we just need a lot more UK people coming over, a lot more younger generation. The younger generation, I think I've only seen 
Maybe. A handful of them. But then I think it also comes down to, you know, you've got, yeah, right now, the hotels are um, around about 30% capacity because it's only been open for four months. Um, but you have, like, once it all generation, you're looking 40s upwards at the moment. That's who we've come across. I think Jean said it's probably like a 35 from 35. From 35, yeah. And I think yeah. from the UK, you're going to get people, you know, that have in the 40s and they've, they've yeah. got bank and so gauge is in heaven <laughs> he's being really awkward now oh <laughs> i might have met a nice lady the other night i don't know so gauge got to test the playrooms i got to test the night. playroom with somebody uh i met a nice lady <laughs> that's all i'm saying yeah but, but we yet need to try it out maybe tonight we'll try it out we can try it out tonight yeah yeah me and you but um I think we're just enjoying the Super King beds right now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Which we is are. Nice. But honestly, I think Grand Meaches, the concept of it, is extraordinary. For all the people that are here, we've met one couple that's not in the lifestyle, but they come to Grand Meaches because they love the nudity, they love the openness of people in the lifestyle, they love how, you know, we, we, when we spent two nights at Temptation, we was there and no one was really talking, talking until people, you've had a few drinks and then yeah. people start like, hey. A lot of people stayed in the groups um, at the other hotel in um, Temptation Meaches. They all kind of came in a bigger group rather than just couples only kind of thing. And they all stayed in their own group. Whereas yeah. here, everybody's mingling, everybody's talking to everybody. And it's not in a sexual way where they try to like hit on you. So, for example, you obviously was tired the other day and you was like, I need a nap. I was like, I'm going to pretty much go out and sunbathe. And I was like, I'm... Because it's only couples only. I sat on the sunbed and obviously the pool's there. I got a drink ordered and it got brought to me. But I didn't want to be that solo guy in the pool mingling because <laughs> you're like, who's this? So I just kind of sat, sat there. And then they were like, a couple like saw me on my own. They was like, hey, do you want to come and join us? And I was like, if that's all right, I was like, I am here with my wife. She's asleep at the moment. They was like, no, oh, that's cool. We've seen you around. Like, and I felt very welcomed. Yeah. Because all they want to do is get to know different people. And that's what swingers are like. They just want to talk to people and learn from other people. And Yeah, well, we've always said that. I've always said that people in the lifestyle no matter where you are in the lifestyle, soft swap, full swap, just dipping your toe into it, you're all so open-minded and friendly and welcoming to everybody. And it's like such an amazing group of people yeah. and an amazing community, mm -hmm. no matter where you're from. So obviously, like we says, a lot of people here are from the US, are from Canada, um, but it's the same. They're all the same, really friendly, really welcoming. And this is me, I'm not being biased towards it, I think it's a case of the the level of premium that you get here is luxury. Because mm. every every like the small details, like they've really looked into it, and you're like, yes, mm. like this is what we need. Yeah, and Gage probably won't talk about this, but the beach is fabulous. Like it is amazing. The beach like, is overrated. Gage doesn't like the beach, so I think he's literally been down on the beach for like five minutes. If that. You know what I've. Right, I can go anywhere here and not be hurt. Be hurt? Yeah, because the beach burnt my feet. <laughs> so, Why would you want to go on sand and burn your feet? But if you are a lover of like... Hmm? <laughs> Do you know when we were filming the other day? How fast were I sprinting around to get shots and trying to run into like different spots of shade? So why yeah. is it sandals up? Because you look like, mate, you're like a paedophile if you go on the beach with sandals. I'll wear my sandals. Look at, you are wearing hey. Hey. <laughs> Non vibes. But um, yeah, the beaches are white sand. The ocean is really nice and warm and um, clear. So. Would you come back in a couple of years? Yeah, I think I'd come back. I would probably say that I would stay 
here. This is more... Grand Meaches. Yeah, yeah. We said, like, this is more our vibe. This mm -hmm. is a bit of us, isn't yeah. it? I think people also um, compare it to, like, uh, is it Desire Pearl in Cancun? Mm. Um, and it's like they try to compare Cancun to Dominican. And even though Temptations is a replica of the one in Cancun, here is its total new concept. Mm -hmm. It's all individual like hotel room blocks. It's like a little small village. It's not one building mm -hmm. full of hotel rooms. It's it's really nice. It's got different segments. You know, it feels like you're in a village. You walk through, you've got a coffee shop and you go through and you've got a restaurant and then you mm -hmm. go somewhere else and there's a store there. Yeah, and I think um, a lot of people who have been here are comparing it to Desire, but Desire has been around for a long time so obviously they're still ironing out a few kinks over here and making sure everything does run smoothly but i've i think i can't complain no i think um the only complaint i've got about grand meaches there's probably one complaint i've got where we're staying here right there is a pool and through the day um it's not as wild as temptation over there the music's not as loud but you can still hear it and they like to start on an early day over and we here. don't. But we don't. <laughs> like, so the music sometimes can wake you up. In this accommodation, um, you'll see it on the upcoming TikToks and Instagram Reels. When you go up the stairs, they've got massive frosted glass windows and the light just fills this room. So when you try to have a light in... Or a nap. Or a nap. Mm -hmm. It's just bright day. Like, there's no mm -hmm. light escaping light to put into the dark. That's all I've got to say about this. Like Grand Meaches. Yeah. So, naps on the beach if you need a nap. <laughs> you get sand up your butt and stuff. I'm not doing that. It's creepy. But overall, have you enjoyed your experience? I have. I really, really have. I think it's always been one of them things. I think why Temptation also sent us out here is because when we was doing a Google search of when we was coming here, mm. It's like you've got Temptation Meaches, Temptation Grand Meaches, and you're like, what's the difference in that sense? For us, it was really confusing. And then when we got here, you was like, ah, because it's not telling you that it's lifestyle orientated on this side. Mm. You just think Temptations over there is lifestyle oriented, but it's not, it's, it's a party hotel. Mm. Is there swingers there? Yes. But you've got people that just want to party, people that are swingers, people that have just flown in for a weekend, you can't tell Yeah, you're back to who's who. Yeah, just the awkward conversation. Oh, you're in the lifestyle. The lifestyle, what's the lifestyle? Oh, yeah. never mind. But when you come to Grand Meaches, you have got a very, very high majority of people that yeah, I'd, are in the lifestyle. I'd say 85, 90%. 90% of people here are yeah. in the lifestyle and you get the odd couple that are just here because they like being naked and they just love people in the lifestyle mm. even though they don't play with anyone else. Yeah. But yeah, I think overall, banging time. That's yeah. it. <laughs> banging time. But obviously, like, we'll answer everybody's questions and things like that and how to book and if you've got any questions and just yeah. messages on yeah absolutely so what we'll, what we'll do is um in the youtube description we will put a link for a packaged um holiday two temptation meaches and another link for a package holiday which is all at all protected here at grand meaches so we can do that, mm. yeah. Because they're like, put links in, put links in, put links in. <laughs> and we don't like to kind of go, buy, oversell, 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 because yeah. people have a genuine interest and lose interest when you try and go, book, 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 and yeah. oversell it. So we'll put one in there, we'll put one in the link. It's your choice if you want to come. I don't think you'll regret it if you do though. No, I, I do think um, my thing is I wouldn't come for more than a week. A week is just I think a week's right. nice. Yeah. 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 I think it's always good to fly in back end of the week because what happens is you've got the crowd coming for the weekend, which then go home, mm -hmm. and then you've got a new crowd coming from the start of the week. Yeah. For their holidays, yeah, so you so kind of get a mix of two yeah, crowds. Yeah, have don't a you? have a weekend. Make sure you've got a weekend trip in it. So, yeah. um, because we flew out on the Saturday, we kind of missed the the. Thursday, Friday crowd, and we're going home on a Thursday, so we're kind of missing the full weekend again. So I definitely 
make sure you book it with a weekend some kind of yeah. involved and but yeah apart from that it's all good are we wrapping this baby up wrapping this baby up yeah. let's go um oh we've got um a massage booked in literally like a couple, there's like, no happy ending i know what in you're half an hour fridge. so we're having a couple's massage so we yeah let's wrap it up because yeah. i want my fajitas before um before we go there yeah she's addicted to feet yeah well bailey what is she a taco slut. A taco, a taco slut. slut. <laughs> You're a taco slut. I am a taco slut. That's whoop, it, yeah. Whoop. But guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you've really enjoyed it. We've definitely enjoyed it being here. If you are on Instagram, please follow us at Swing Hub App. And if you're on Twitter, please follow us on Swing Hub App. Yeah. All good. We will see you all soon when we're back in England. Peace. Call on me if you need somebody. Somebody, somebody When me do bad, feeling lonely Do bad, feeling lonely Love me if you feel me, baby Oh, baby, oh, baby I go wine for you, I can be funky